6.30 a.m. Hiking day 36 up in the Sierras. Uh, it got in the, down to probably the mid-30s last night. It wasn't too bad. <clears throat> and got everything packed up. Had a hot cup, cup of coffee and a cinnamon roll. And, and now we're going to start up this morning we've got a, our first water source in 3.8 um, and then Chicken Spring Lake um, in about 9 or 10 that ought to be neat and uh, we'll have our first rock hopping water crossing this morning for today and then we're gonna all congregate about 17 and a half miles in and decide how much further we're going it's 23.8 miles to the junction to go to Whitney and about a mile past that to the campsite that's used as a springboard. So, we've got lots of beautiful scenery to see, a creek to cross, a lake. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, on to water. So we reached the first water source back there and it was a little trickle. Uh, it's about 20 till eight and everything's going really well. So I will take a water break a little later, but I'll push on to Chicken Spring Lake. Um, it ought to be beautiful. And the group wants to take a break there, maybe dip their feet in and uh, enjoy the scenery. It's, it's uh, one of the um, most photographed spots in this section of the trail. So we'll take a look at it. arrived at Chicken Spring Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of some of the mountain lakes that I hiked up to with George Twig in the Rockies. Beautiful clear water. Horseshoed in by mountains. Great place for a break. Basking marmot. What?
First bit of trail in Sequoia and Kings Canyon Park. So we stopped back there at that little creek, had some water, a little rest. I probably walked too far <clears throat> without eating. I needed to eat a bunch and catch up. So it looks like the team is pushing on to Crabtree Meadows tonight <clears throat> because they want to do Mount Whitney tomorrow. Because they're pushing so hard, um, it's likely I won't do it. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty tired. And so I think I'll take a zero on trail and eat a day's food while resting. Um, <clears throat> and it looks like by them doing that, by us pushing to it tonight, then <clears throat> we'll save a day. We won't have to spend an extra day at Crabtree Meadow, um, doing Whitney. So we'll be out a day early after we go over Kearsarge Pass. It's a short distance um, to the hitching point. So we will get a day saved, which means we have extra food, which is good. <clears throat> and uh, I might be eating some of it. Uh, it's really tough planning, carrying, and eating at the proper pace, seven days of food. It's kind of a challenge. But it looks like uh, it's good practice because once we come out of our uh, town day at Bishop, uh, we'll have to do the same thing over again. All right. Well, about eight miles to go. Um, 1,500 foot climb, so we got about 500 more feet of descent then. 1,500 foot climb, and then another descent. So, see you there.
So we're on the last descent into Crabtree Meadows. And you can see the switchbacks go down. And then they eventually hook up with that little trail down there. And they go off into the trees where hide and seek is going. Hello, Marmot. See these beautiful trout in here? They're just gorgeous. Yeah, so here we are at the river, at the Four Caratree Meadows, and we get to cross on that. Okay, we've taken the turn to head to Lower Crabtree Meadows. Should be able to see my peeps there once I arrive. Most of them are already there pick out some camping spots. Beautiful here. Yeah, so most of the walk to the campsite is right along this creek. It's just beautiful. It's really a nice way to end the day after doing some pretty sluggy climbs. Serenity Shuttle has landed trail mile 766 plus one because we had to do a mile off a trail to get up here to Crabtree Meadows and <clears throat> set the folks up for their Mount Whitney Summit tomorrow. So um, we had about a 24 mile day total, lots of climbing, um, but beautiful, beautiful scenery and glad to share it with you. We got into camp a little late, uh, about 6.30 or maybe close to 7. So um, I rushed to make dinner and to get everything situated here and set up. I have yet to make my bed. So as soon as I sign off with you, I'm going to do that. And then um, my plan is, as they're summiting tomorrow, um, I'm going to uh, rest here. And when they come back and pack up, uh, they're going to do another eight miles uh, tomorrow. So it'll be sort of a Nero, that is, nearly zero. We've decided the definition of that is under 10 miles in a day. So it, it'll be within the definition. And uh, so I'll rest, sleep a lot, eat some extra food. We, we packed seven days out, and now it looks like we'll be done in six or so. So I've got some extra food to eat, and I'm happy for that. Um, uh, got really tired today. The body told me that um, I should skip the Whitney Summits. Um, I'm just going to lay low and see if I can recover my energy. Um, so day after tomorrow, we'll do Forester Pass, which is the uh, highest one on the PCT. And then go down the backside and uh, and then go off trail uh, via Kearsarge Pass and uh, get a hitch into Bishop and take a zero there and uh, eat some food and get some laundry done and take a shower and sleep in a hotel room. Um, I am keeping in touch with Christy via the Garmin inReach uh, satellite device and uh, that's nice but it'll, it'll be even nicer to get into Bishop and get some um, reception and uh, give her give her a nice long chat well thanks for hiking with me today it was beautiful scenery the whole way and remember we're doing the impossible and that makes us mighty <laughs>